Hey everyone, thanks so much for subscribing. I, so many people subscribe, so hi. I know I said thank you at some point, but I wanted to say hi again. Um, so yeah, I am actually a tarot reader who has clients. So if you are interested in supporting the channel and would like to get a reading from me, definitely check that out. Or if you wanna make a donation, you know, I'm not gonna say no because yeah. So, um, but really, if you are interested in booking a reading, my calendar link is down below and um, you'll have to pay in order to um, reserve the reading. If for some reason I can't do the reading, I will issue a refund to you. It's all done through PayPal. Um, I have 30 minute and one hour appointments available. Um, if you're into maybe a question based reading and you want to type in a question and then get a video like kind of how I do the YouTube videos, um, then hit me up that way too. I have a link to the form down below. You put in the request. I will invoice you for the reading. And uh, once the invoice is fulfilled, I'll take care of your reading. And there's usually like a two day turnaround time, sometimes less time. Um, but yeah, I did want to let you guys know that. Um, I will of course continue to do the monthly readings for free. I love doing the monthly readings. It's so nice to like kind of see how people react and it's always a lot of fun. So that's something I'm going to keep doing. Um, and yeah, if you have not subscribed, if you're considering subscribing, definitely do so. Once I get to like around a thousand, I think I'll be able to kind of uh, like do social posts. So I'll be able to like get your feedback or opinion on what types of videos you guys want to see. Um, I am trying to record more uh, tech issues and some other stuff happened, but um, yeah. So thanks again for subscribing. I hope you have a great month of July. Um, oh, and one tip for the readings is that when you are looking for a reading, if the title resonates, pick the title, look at the video. Um, if you kind of um, identify more with like your moon sign or your rising sign versus your sun sign, you can choose that as well. And um, just sort of pick what feels right. Uh, thanks again for supporting the channel. If you want to donate, again, all the links and everything are down below. Um, and yeah, if you want to book a reading, definitely book a reading. Um, because I do actually like to have clients. Um, I am on Instagram, so you can follow me on there if you want to. TikTok does some foolish shit and they let me um, have three minute videos. I don't know why, so I'll probably start posting short stuff on there. Um, but I do want to post more and stuff like that. But yeah, thanks again for subscribing. I hope you have a great month of July and I look forward to your reading. I'll see you around. Hey Leo, happy July. Um, Time to get into your reading. I hope you're doing well. Um, I feel like you already watched the announcement. So yeah, thanks again for checking out the channel and watching the reading. And I just kind of want to get into it pretty fast and we'll see what's up. Some of y'all may be having either home life issues or like feeling like you don't have enough. Some of y'all may have been feeling like you've been casted out in some regard or pushed out. Doesn't necessarily mean the case. Could be a money thing where you're just like, um, oh. You could have been forced into a lifestyle change. So the other one that came out was the Ten of Wands. You could be overwhelmed with um, said lifestyle change. The Five of Pentacles are the people outside of the church and they're in the snow. And they look all jacked up. But the, the cool thing is that even though you feel like you're kind of being driven out or whatever, look, they're actually kind of carrying each other, holding each other up. So even then, it's like it's not. Oh, that's so funny. And I say that, but look at the Two of Cups over here. So it could be a situation where it's like, you know could have more money could have more means but maybe like you're being supported or like you know emotionally supported or maybe at least emotionally like that is going well you can have a good relationship despite wanting more in like a more you know pinnacle sort of sense which isn't a bad thing okay that could be why for some people it could be that you had that money change or whatever things have changed and that there's just a big difference in whatever is because um judgment could have happened so with me i always see judgment as like after justice could be that you've gone through a change as well and so because you've gone through this sort of change you are um you're new and like 
I mean, hell, I'm the first one to tell you when you have to do things like suddenly move or leave or something like that, you're not going to have the things that you probably had before. If you had to like leave a job or something in order to have like a better situation or something like that, like that's, that's going to affect your pentacles. It sucks. It sucks. But you can get past it. You know, Leos are powerful. And y'all are real good at, like, being able to make moves, I think, with business stuff. So, it might not last that long. It could just be a temporary thing. Mm, okay, so you're not, like, broke. But you, you're looking. You're looking. You might be more conservative about your money or what you have or in the past is look you got the four pinnacles too so this is something that you may not um some of y'all because <laughs> this is something that a leo would do some of y'all may be fronting like you on this five of pinnacle shit but you really got something stashed away Hey, I ain't mad at it, okay? Can't always tell everybody what you got. Um, also, too, just because you have some money saved doesn't mean that you're doing all that great. It's like in order to maintain your lifestyle or if you have a nest egg so you can make sure that like you and your kids and, or you and your pets or just you, are, you and your plants are okay. Like, shit, that doesn't mean you're rich. That just means that you got enough to, if something, if things, you know, one thing slips, you can kind of cover your bases. So that's not a bad thing. You, you could also be sitting on top of an idea that's going to make money or you could be sitting on an investment that's going to make money you know is going to make money and you're just like uh lifestyle's a little different right now but we're just gonna do this Ooh, seven of swords this is that deceptive thing i was talking about i don't think it's a bad thing though Maybe and look, only left one behind. You're taking everything and leaving one behind. So maybe someone just thinks that you're taking away the goods or you're take, you're um, walking off with information that you didn't give them access to. You know something that they don't know and you're not telling them you're probably leaving. And they might take it as like a betrayal or some shit. But I mean, hey, especially if it's a situation where you're, you've kind of parted ways or if they ran your ass off. You don't owe them shit. You ain't got to tell them nothing. My bad. I live in LA. There's like sirens on like a random ass Tuesday, like whatever time this is. Let's see. Mm. The one thing I don't like, and the reason why I say, like, mm. Is that with the nine of swords? Ooh. It's usually a sign of insomnia or stuff like that. The traditional tarot is like the person sitting up in the bed with the swords going by their head. Could be stressed out praying for a miracle to happen. You know what's funny? I think that in the future, you see how there's like candles are in a circle. This person's praying, right? And you see that? You see how the swords are arranged? Let's say you're up late at night praying for a miracle or praying for things to change and shit like that. Isn't it funny how the wheels also look? It's a wheel. Look at the swords and the circle. And look at the wheel. So maybe you manifest that. Maybe maybe the tears and the praying on it on top of working on it is actually making it happen. So like, let's say on the surface, maybe you don't see it. You don't see it. Maybe you're just like, I don't know. Maybe the universe is conspiring um, for you this go around, but you don't see it right now. Even if that's the case, you are start trying to stay prudent and hold on to stuff. But maybe like that idea or, or what you've been hoping for is gonna is gonna happen. This is not like a situation where it's like a pipe dream where you're just throwing away money on dumb shit. Not that. It's like if you were investing into your business or if you were like hoping for a good outcome of like maybe a, a situation that involved like maybe divesting from a business or something or like other shit like that or investing in something new like 
you know, the toil on top of the, the asking for things to work out. Maybe that'll come together. Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, it could be that the abundance is a bun in the oven right now. Cause like, it always looks like she's holding a baby. And damn near all the Queen of Pentacles cards are. Baby. So yeah, if it's money or an opportunity, it could be that you're uh, waiting for it. It could be that it doesn't really go down until your birthday season. see if anything else comes out seven of swords again what's this about why do I feel like the plan's not gonna happen and <laughs> like right now you're being deceptive and like the plan's really gonna pop off in, in Leo season Like, let's say, because, like, the Sun card, Leo, and the King of Wands. Like I said, King, or maybe you just, <laughs> oh, shit, maybe you're keeping it cute right now, and you're just going to, like, go off when it comes to your birthday season. Because, Leo, y'all do that shit big when it's y'all's birthday. It's a whole thing. So, maybe you're just like, look, I'm going to chill. I'm going to handle my shit. I'm going to save my money. And I'm going to go off like how I go off every year. And I wasn't able to really go off last year. So I'm really going to do it this year. Whatever, Leo. Have fun. Shit. Okay. Now let's get into your Oracle cards. All these loud ass noises outside. Okay. Okay, inner peace is the first one. Oh, look at the koi fish. Some of y'all really might be booed up. Or like, you could also just be at one with yourself. Um, sometimes once you get out of a situation that was taking too much of your like mental, emotional, and spiritual space, then you kind of get back to who you are and that's always cool. So you're like, what do I like? I like this. You find out stuff about yourself. Or you see what changed. Okay. You keep getting this seven of swords. What the hell, man? What is this? Who is full of shit? Maybe some of y'all are still looking at the past like maybe you made the wrong choice, but I doubt it. What is this about? Oh, it could be deception maybe trying to get in the way of your inner peace. Maybe you just dealt with a liar in the past. Yep. Because when I clarified the card, I got the nine of wands and the nine of cups. To me, that means being defensive. And if anything, you're def defending your fucking inner peace. You got this many cups filled on your own. So it could be why. It could be too that some of y'all are like, I don't wanna say lying to yourself, but you could be coming off as like happier and more together than you are, but I doubt that. I think it's, um, might be a little defensive. It could be that, like, your mm. 
you are emotionally fulfilled, you are happy, you are somewhat interesting, right? And people kind of want to come to, but you're still defensive because you want, you're looking to, to maintain this type of energy that you have in your life. There you go. And so while you are outwardly like, yay, and maybe you are and like, you know, but you might be on some like, no new friends. I'm good type of shit. But hey, sometimes you got to like, let people know. It could be that you just, you got them boundaries. You could have those boundaries because you're not dealing with lying ass people no more. Seen that damn five of pentacles at the bottom of this little deck just now. Huh. I mean, you can't put up with liars and weirdos though. We not, we not doing that. drink some water. I have the, the air on and I'm just dried up and shit. Okay. Woo! Almost time for a refill. Some of y'all might be rushing into something with a cancer or water. What is, oh, this is funny. Let me look at this, because this is so funny. I never clarify with this many. Oh. I'm sorry, they just came to me. I was like, what does this mean? And I was like, wait a minute. Uh, some of y'all might rush, might have, might rush into. You might have been a little impulsive with the union in the past. It doesn't. Yeah, it, it went quick. It doesn't mean it was a bad thing. Maybe, but maybe it's like you acted on this situation mad quick, right? In the past, maybe you used to do that. And now it's kind of like, because with the chariot, it's about movement, it's about strength and stuff like that. It could be another thing too, where like, I'm sorry. I don't want to make that thing. Okay. Um, Oh, duh. Okay, so for some of y'all, you could have run into something else in the past. Maybe it started off quick. It could be your current situation, actually. So it doesn't necessarily need to be, for some people, it's a love thing, but it's like, if you maybe jumped first into like your spiritual practice, not, and I don't, I don't mean like, like meditation or stuff like that, or like you really jumped into making certain changes or you jumped into like therapy or something like that where you're like really connecting with yourself um in order to keep moving and these are two really big energies we have the chariot and the strength card like you could be getting strength to move on it could also be a situation where it's like it's a lot because this is a whole lot of energy like the chariot is just like zooming and zooming and zooming and the strength card is like you're also put so it's like let's say you're always making moves and you're always taming beasts and shit like that like that's a lot of energy to put out if like let's say the last relationship that you jumped into you were always so quick to you know make moves to make shit happen and you're always constantly sort of regulating things or getting things together that's a lot that's a lot of energy so yeah it could be that like let's say you rush into like a past situation like that and it drained you a lot the secret could be that you tired could be running around a lot or an emotional roller coaster is just tiring in general. It could be too that it's hot and heavy and passionate and shit like that or just requires a lot of energy and you just want to give it a rest. Might not even be like a bad relationship, but usually if it's that and it requires you to like do it situations that require you to provide a lot of stability that might not be what you're into these days there are other ways to prove and test your strength which would mean that in short you are on your inner peace shit you're not letting nobody threaten that shit that's why you're like nah no new friends 
even though you're friendly. Like, you can sort of be new friends, but you're you're not trying to do all this dumb shit. You're not trying to tame lions and do some other shit just to sort of kind of like deal with someone that you might not even like that much. Y'all are mad serious. Anywho, opportunity is your second oracle card for the month. So let's see what that's about. Well, some of y'all are going to have the opportunity to get the hell out. Hear me out. We got the eight of wands. And we got the eight of swords. That is fast as fuck. I'm leaving quick. Them wands line up with them swords. You could be getting a job offer or information that's going to allow you to move on. Whatever it is. like, And again, we were saying I was saying earlier how it's like, oh, like the leap of faith and stuff like that. Like those challenges and new beginnings and things of that nature. So could be that. Maybe you get the information to do it. It allows you to move more like the queen of wands. I like the queen of wands because I feel like she's less excitable than the king of wands. She's still kick your ass but less driven by um their whims in certain ways but yeah this is movement moving moving on dipping off that was at the bottom of the deck like so some of y'all may get the opportunity to move on you may be getting an opportunity that requires you to move I've seen this happen, like, when people get accepted to college, they're like, oh, no, I got to move the schools all the way, boom, in another country, but it's such a good opportunity, I just can't pass it, I must go. Like, y'all could be on that type of shit, where it's like, that kind of opportunity helps to fully remove you from something. Hey, you can do it, do it. Also, too, if it's a situation where you can't just outright say, hey, this is why, Sometimes we ain't got the strength. And if it comes to families and stuff like that, too, it's much easier to just sort of move on that way and come up with your plan on how you're going to fully um, disengage in the future. Just out here giving people advice on how to leave toxic ass relationships. Well, in the future, you'll be thriving. So, or maybe you already are, too. But, you know, it's always in the, you start to notice the little things about it, about how you're doing well. And then, you know, you really start to see the progress on it. Oh, let's do your tea leaf cards and then we're gonna be done, Leo. You another one. Got a lot of shit going on. Oops. So we got the lion and the elephant, time to act. So time to act for the lion and the elephant's about going on a long journey, either physical, mental, or emotional, and it'll leave you wiser in the end. It could be that you've already gone on this journey. It may pertain to a blonde or a fair-skinned woman. I'm getting more like blonde vibes or even the idea of like being considered fair. Doesn't always have to be though. I said, that's pretty vague. Maybe they're related or something because we got another one with the fair man and the blonde. And again, this deck has like 200 some odd cards in it. And it's protection from a, from a powerful friend. So maybe this powerful friend is a, is a blonde dude. Maybe the time to act and go on the journey pertains to this fair woman. Like, they never pop up. Um, So it could be that Friend, a friend could be protecting you from this person. Or maybe this is you going on a journey. Kind of look related for some reason. Or similar. Let's see what else is popping up. Hey. 
maybe some drama with the mice. So yeah, before and I was saying, maybe they're related, maybe it's family drama. Oh shit. Oh, for some of y'all might be a family drama related to a relationship. And with the fly, two type of pests, a period of ill health or depression. So maybe people are like, I don't want to say conspire against you, but maybe you, you know, you feel some type of way. And it could be because of like people that are in the periphery, but what else is it? The last one is the rose or romances in the air. It could be pertaining to a romance or a relationship, but let's see. But the discord could be, it, it could also be about someone's love life. So if people are talking shit about your love life. It could be that. Oh, for some of y'all, people could be talking about your last uh, major relationship or marriage. It's so you defensive about telling people about your love life in the future. Hey, don't tell them people shit. <laughs> I'm not saying like, you know, don't mention every aspect. But if, if you're telling people who don't want to see you do well, like you're telling them good things about your life, they might not always be the most supportive. Or if people don't always want to like, you know, people just, somebody always got something to say. Don't, don't try to change nobody's mind. You can use that time doing other things that you actually enjoy doing. Oh, I mean, yeah, your plan is probably to just enjoy the whole rebirth and things coming together and working on your shit. You ain't got time for it. Who cares? It's all you. It's cool though. We always like y'all. I know y'all be a little extra sometimes, but I appreciate you guys. So I hope you have a great month of July. And uh, that was your reading. I hope you have fun. If you liked it, definitely subscribe. If you want to book a reading, check out the info in the description box and join me on the other social medias. I hope you have a great month and hopefully I'll be posting more. And yeah, leave a comment if you got something to say, you know, let me know about the tea. I wanna know, I'm no, I can't really do nothing about it, but you know, shit, I, I'll read it. <laughs> but thanks for sticking around. I hope you have a good one. Bye.